Hey, what's up guys? So I want to talk about the appearance profiler, a little bit about it, how to use it, and a few things on managing it. So real quick, we have a Navis 18. I think you can use, this is managed, I think you can use simulate and you'll be fine. Freedom, I don't think so. So in the screen here, I just have a couple NWCs uh, loaded into it. So if I minimize that. We've got an arch equipped mech and plum. There's not much to this model. I just want to visually represent this pretty quickly so you can get an idea. So up here on the home tab, we can come over here on the tools panel and we've got this little button, appearance profile, we can press on that. This dialog pops up and it shows by property, by set right off the bat. So for those who don't know, appearance profiler, what it does is it takes a, it looks by property or by set, the, the item that you, you're searching for it looks for properties and then it grabs it and then applies a color or transparency to it or a color and transparency to it and then you could do this for a number of reasons if you want to make specific elements that you don't naturally work with kind of a, a duller color and then make your systems or 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 specific architectural elements kind of pop you can do that within this this uh, dialog box also you can have multiple versions of it because you can save and load so depending on what you're working on you can apply different ones instead of just using one strict standard but it's a nice way to kind of have uh, efficient workflows on on how you're getting into a model and what you're actually looking at and kind of getting used to the colors and stuff but you can do that all through here it takes a bit to set up but afterwards it's it's pretty nice to have so if we look here we have by property by set those are the two two ways that we're kind of grabbing this stuff so we've got category property um, I put name and then walls we can get that information if I exit out of this and just say if I wanted to grab all the walls we can come here and we have a lot of different properties we can look at I came to category so that would be the category name and then I came down here to name which would be the property and then walls is the is the uh, name of of the element so or that's kind of that's the text within the properties so if I come back into the parents profile we'll take a look see uh, properties name and then we can do an equals or does not equal walls and then we can test the selection that selected it and then we can add that to our selection we can come here too and change some colors if we want to maybe change it to a blue maybe turn the transparency up we can type in there too so I'll just put 50 and then we run it we can click out and keep this open I think I already had that um, I may have not seen we can delete that run it and now we have a transparent blue and now we can see a bit in our building so that's one way to do it we can also do it by sets actually real quick by property it's difficult sometimes to come over here and really figure out what you need to put sometimes a quick way to do it is if you come down here to find item you can come over here categories um, and then find a specific you know element you can find some properties in there and uh, depending on I me mean, if you're looking at uh, doors or, or specific specific duct types or whatever it is you can come in here and kind of orient uh, um, kind of orient this any way that you want or you know looking at different properties and what kind of best suits you and your workflows but for now I'll stick with what I kind of already prepared for which was categories and we'll do name equals we'll say roofs and this is nice because you can come down here and at least get the idea if you want to come back up here and make a by property uh, search real quick. 
if you know it it's nice but down here you know you can quickly drop down and see all the categories you, you have throughout the entire project and then, then find the names and stuff like that one nice thing is if you do select on the element it kind of gives you the properties only or the categories that are only um, kind of applied to that specific element so but this is another nice workflow one cool thing about this is is if you come down here and then so well, let's exit out of this so we'll come back find the item oops equals roofs okay so category name equals roofs and we find all we can come back to our appearance profiler and we can do by sets we'll do actually wait one second we'll move this over we'll come over here to sets we need to apply that set first so it's still selected that's how I'm creating it so down here in find items you run the search and then find all it has it still selected so it's kind of still in that command then you come over here and sets and then you press save search you can also save a selection but I want to recommend that because it's not necessarily going to be looking at the updated um, elements that you do bring in to it that you may want to pick up so if I add another roof to this it's not going to pick it up it's just going to keep that current selection so a search set is nice because it's looking at the properties so the AP is always going to apply it to to those properties in that search set so if I come over here refresh I can see roofs are there I can test the selection see it grabs it maybe I want this to be red okay I can come over here and add it, run, click out here, and now I've got a red, red roof. So you can do that on a number of items. It's pretty quick. I mean, you can look in here and see I've got some furniture and some generic stuff, some equipment. I can grab this. It has name, furniture, kind of the same setup. You either do a search set or do a buy property. And then you can have it applied to, to those elements. So I'm going to exit out of this. So I hope this gives you an idea of how to use it. Ooh, one more thing. If we come in here to appearance profiler again, we can actually do a save of that. And I think it creates a DAT file. All right, so it creates a DAT file that you can save and then reload into the file or not reload it but if you have other projects then you can easily uh, save this somewhere where everybody can access it and then you can run this AP as a standard or have a, a number of, of uh, AP uh, DAT files on hand that you, you run on different projects and then here is where you would load it an exit out of that okay I hope this kind of gives you the idea on how to use the appearance profiler and hopefully if you do use it it helps you in your workflows and uh, please like share comment subscribe if you haven't and I really appreciate you watching thanks a lot